As an actor, Jeloshni Naidu doesn't believe in shying away from a challenge, and she's already presented two shows in which she's played more than 30 characters, male and female, single-handedly. She's also equally at home on stage and screen, doing anything from tragedy to comedy, so we couldn't wait to find out about her latest projects. Versatility and vivaciousness are just some of Jeloshni's strengths because she also has the ability to create an entirely believable character, even someone as unlike herself as Mrs. Skandasami's uppity neighbour. Can you please stop crunching and munching all the time? I can't even hear myself think. It's quite rare and special when you get to meet someone who you've looked up to as a role model. Today is a very special day for me as I get to spend the day with Jay Loshi Naidu. I am but one of many aspiring entertainers who have looked up to this Wonder Woman. Her versatility and valor have made her an absolute standout in the industry for many years. And today, she invites us to have a sneak peek into a day in her life. So, let's get going. Karishma! Jeloshni! So lovely! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. It's so nice to see you. I've been waiting for you. I feel like I have so much to ask you. Oh, well, we have all day, so it's going to be great. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. Where did it all start for you? There was a teacher at my high school and I credit her with, with pl planting the bug basically. Uh, her name is Jenny Somers Syndrome and we didn't have drama as part of the school curriculum then. But she was so passionate about performance and all of that and uh, she got the kids together after school as an extracurricular thing and that was the start of it. I just loved it. What have been some of your most memorable performances? My first experience of a stage play was in Macbeth. It was a big production at the then Ashoka Theatre at UDW. And of course, I was a new young student, so we didn't get all the meaty roles. And I was actually a tree. <laughs> you know when Burnham Bush comes to dance the name? <laughs> and so they had all of us first years or second years at that time holding pieces of the tree and being the Burnham Bush movie. And I remember we used to always laugh backstage and say, I forgot my lines, because we had no. And so that was my first. And I used to always look at Lady Macbeth and think, I can do that. Jay Loshni still finds the opportunity to introduce a touch of the ruthless Scottish lady when she wants to. You know, you really need to sort your mother out. She's all love. Just give her a break. No one can know about this. I'm warning you. What you been up to? Looking nice and speak the truth. Which do you prefer, theatre or film? Theatre is always the passion. I say that without any doubt. The immediacy of it is what just drives you as a performer. Um, it's that adrenaline rush. It literally spurs you on and keeps you going. And what a long way we have... Whether she's presenting an ironic view of South African history that's as true as it's funny, or simultaneously bringing two characters to life on stage in a poignant family drama, Jeloshni has the audience in the palm of her hand. A photo shoot planned for today. Should we get going? Let's do it. A few minutes with a makeup artist were all that JLo needed to prepare for the camera. Here we go, Jay. Smoky eyes, nude lip, all ready for your shoots. Are you happy? I'm loving it. Perfect. Thank you so much. And then much I'll see that. you a bit later for touch up. Thank huh? you. Jay. Bye. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kandasamis was such a beautiful movie and it's done so well. What was it like being a part of it all? It was shot in Chatsworth, predominantly. It's my hometown. I'm always a Chatsworth girl at heart, so that was the joy for me, going to my hometown every day and filming in this beautiful, colourful place where the people were so warm. And I think the entire crew experienced the kind of generosity from the community. Which idiot plans a morning wedding? I love morning wedding tomorrow. In keeping up with the Kandasamis, Jay Loshni played a snobbish career woman who couldn't see eye to eye with a down to earth neighbor. Always professional, Jay Loshni never unleashes the prima donna, making her a pleasure to work with. 
I know we have a photo shoot to get to, but I also know that you are really close with Auntie Rumba. And I've heard so much about her. Do you think it's possible I could meet her today? She's been calling incessantly because she got wind of something happening with you guys being with me. And I think she always feels she's the more important one. She's a celebrity and um, focus should be on her. Okay, so let's head to the photo shoot and let's see, maybe she'll turn up? Oh, maybe she won't. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Naveen. Hi, Hi Naveen. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Uh, just going to sit on the... Um, Am I going to be Don't mind me. Just let me know if I'm in your way. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That looks so good. That was beautiful. I can't wait to see the next outfit. Thank you. It was a damp autumn day in Durban. But there was nothing downbeat about the mood of the moment. Yeah. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> what are some of the challenges you faced as an Indian woman in this industry? As a comedian, in terms of women, the, the material has to be that much more solid and the delivery. So there I find the challenge, but as far as Indian women in general, I mean, we've come from a little more conservative background. Perceptions are changing, we're moving with the times and people are a lot more open to it. But I'm gonna run and it's not goodbye for us because I'm gonna catch you at Lotus on, at the SABC. Yes, go get ready and I'll see you later at Lotus. I'm having such a wonderful day with Jeloshni. It is so great when someone that you've looked up to completely exceeds your expectations. Distantly related, Jeloshni's Auntie Rumba can be relied on to always exceed expectations. Argumentative and opinionated, she'll talk the hind leg of a donkey. And like the proverbial bad penny, she'll always turn up. Hey guys, I don't think Auntie Rumba is going to make it, so let's just call it a wrap. No, 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 no. Yes, hold on. Hey, whoa, no, what you're rapping? Yes, hold on. Uh, this one, you wait here. You don't rap nothing. Go stand that side. Both of you go stand that side and wait. Don't go away anywhere. Go stand. What are you rapping, Rama, darling? You huh? made it. It's so lovely to meet you. You don't know how I'm rushing. You know, by the time I see to this man in the house and come, it's no plane for me at all. Eh? Rushing, rushing. What like this raining, raining and stink today, man. Hey, I'm finished, man. You're finished up everything. No, we were waiting for you. I, you see, you know, darling, what a wonderful child. And you look very beautiful too, Thank ma. Thank you. Very you look beautiful. lovely, you, Auntie Ram. You like it, ma. Yeah, uh, you see, Ceres is my colour. If you look at this colour in my skin, it is too wonderful. In fact, when I put this colour, everybody is stopping to ask and tell me how wonderful I'm looking. Please give us some fashion tips. Maroon! Maroon is the colour of the season, ma. If you come to my house, every side where you look, from my velvet sofas to every side, my doilies is maroon. What I like about you for a young child, there's a nice long skirt what you're putting because girls are putting two short skirts. Huh? And you know what the other thing is really upsetting me for the, the thing? Olds. What do you mean? Olds, that's what they're putting in the jeans. Olds. Oh, ho. That's what I'm telling. Everybody is tearing the jeans and putting olds in the jeans. You think that is a fashion? It looks so untidy, it's nice for respect. How can you put holes in your jeans? Holes we got for different, different reasons. You got holes in your ears to hear. You got a hole in your face to talk, your mouth. Is it? Some people must know when to shut it too. Right? Uncle, sometimes he act like he got a hole in his head. I don't want this one. Thankful for an excuse to escape auntie's clutches, Karishma headed to the studios where Jay Lojni was presenting a weekend liftoff. We've arrived at Lotus FM and I can't wait to see Jay Lojni in action. Even when her audience is unseen, Jay Lojni knows exactly how to establish a rapport. Now up next, Auntie Ramba is in the house and you know what that means. Things get a little hot around you. Jeloshni, it's so cool to see you live on air doing your thing. It's a very different thing being uh, on camera, on television or film, as opposed to radio, uh, because you've got the visual stimulus on TV or on film. Here, it's all about your energy, I guess. The energy has to be uh, a, a lot more present because 
people don't see you, so they have to hear that in your voice. And it has to be warm and welcoming as well. What have been some of your most memorable interviews? I think my days at Eastern Mosaic, those were the days where I really interviewed all kinds of people. I get A-list actors from Bollywood, we've done everything from presidents to ministers to prime ministers from other countries. Lots of interesting people and over and above all of that, we've gone into communities, I've got to meet so many other people who are doing fabulous things and making a difference in the world. It has been so wonderful spending the day with you. You are such an inspiration. Thank you. Back on air, Jello Shdi purred into the mic. But just when everyone was beginning to think that Auntie had got lost somewhere between the foyer, the loo, and the studio, out she popped, filled with a righteous indignation. This is Ramba Naidu, signing off for Lotus FM. Cut! Like I'm cutting out all the nonsense from the Christmas party.